fascism. Yes, Abdul. Yeah, hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, hello. <laughs> what happened to you? Uh, I want you to. Uh, I want to show a hadith to you. No, uh, why you don't read this hadith for us in the screen? Because uh, that's the topic of the woman in New Zealand. Okay, no, I'm talking about this hadith now. We passed that. Why? What do you think about your prophet saying that the best of Muslims, the best of mankind, are the Muslims because they put chains around the neck of people? Yeah, to save you from hellfire. Okay, so if I if I put a chain around your neck to make you Christian, is that fine for you? If your religion is the truth, yes. Ah, so because your religion is the only truth, you can you are allowed to put the chains around the neck of people. Yes. Uh, so you think you gonna, so you think a human being as are dogs? You can leash. You can have a leech on them. Where you gonna? Huh? I lost you. S stop seeing the internet of the neighbors. Abdul, are you there? Abdul, he never he never pay for the internet. They never pay for a credit card. They never pay for internet. Okay, Abdul. So yes. why you are saying it's okay to put chains around the neck of a human being? Yes. So why? Why? So what does that mean? Uh, uh, everyone is not a Muslim. He is not a human for you. Okay. Imagine you are in hellfire. You're screaming, uh, "Ya Allah, take me out of hellfire!" And you, and you. No, we don't. You but we are not screaming, "Oh Allah, take us from hellfire!" We don't. We are. Uh, do you see? Do you hear us screaming that? No. No, but you are gonna. Why, why you? Why Islam teaching you that you are you are the best of mankind and the rest are animals, so we can put leech around their necks? What kind of religion like this is? Oh, it doesn't say your animals. It, it says that. No, it says that when you put a you, when you put a chain around the neck of a human being, is that a behavior you do with a human or with animals? That's not the topic. This is the topic. It says here in front of us. For they bring them with the chains around their necks. Not only bring them, bring them with the chains. So you have yes. to go and, and you have to go and hunt them and capture them as if they are dogs. And you put a leech around their neck. This is what it says. Mm. Okay. So why, why you think that you are you are better than mankind and the rest of you, the rest of uh, of mankind are animals and we can put a chain around their neck. This is what Islam teaching. This is the value of Islam, yeah. right? What is it for? What is it for? You tell me. What is it for? To go to Jannah. What if I don't want to go to Jannah? I don't want to go to your Jannah. Your Jannah is scary. In the Jannah, okay. you a Muslim, they will have sex, men with men. I don't like that. Okay. Do you uh, like to have sex with men yourself? Do you like to have? Do, do you like somebody to do you in the heaven? Okay, but listen, I want you to. No, no I don't want to listen. I want you to answer. Do you like to go to heaven where somebody will do you? Because the Quran no. says, whatever you wish, any anything you wish in heaven, it will happen yeah. to you. What about uh, having yeah, sex with your mother? Do you like to I'm go to Do you like to go to heaven where you can have sex with your mother? No, I don't like to have sex with my, with so my mother. So why you want to go to that heaven? Why you are so desperate to go and kill people so, so you can go to such a heaven? No, because I'm going to have sex with uh, my virgins. What virgins? Who are those virgins? Uh, who, who are those virgins? I'm asking you. Who are those okay. virgins? <laughs> are you laughing at your God? Huh? <laughs> I'm, asking you, I'm asking you, what? Who are those virgins? The my wives. Allah will create your wife. Allah create yes. wives for you, but you never met them yet. How they can be your wives? You don't know them. You never know them. You never met them. How they can be your wife? I, I want you to listen to this conversation and you tell me what do you think. Wait, I'm not trying to listen carefully. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In the heaven you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yes. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can have you are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. <laughs> Anything Anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome, you and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay. 
And you don't see that there's something wrong with that. What do you not understand about nothing is sin? Well, I, sin I'm just trying to understand, my friend. You see, sin. I'm not sure. What do you think, Abdul? Your Muslims, all of them believe that in the heaven, you will have sex with your mother and your father in the same bed, have oh. fun. So what oh. do you think? Why why you want people to go to such a heaven where it is obviously an evil and disgusting heaven? Because you are, nobody's going to have sex with this, this mother. No, that, you know, I have tons of Muslims debating me and agree that this is what it says. Stop does, lying. Does it say in hadith? The Quran says whatever you wish. Whatever you wish. Yeah, whatever you wish. Nobody's going to wish to have sex with his mother. Why? Why not? Why not? Because that's, nobody's going to have uh, okay, let me ask wish you, for that. Let me ask you, are you allowed to have sex with your daughter in Islam? I don't know. Don't tell me I do not know. You are a Muslim, Abdul. You are Abdul. Abdul knows everything. They knew science. They knew everything. Have you ever seen? Yeah, Abdul? Have you ever, have you ever heard of Abdul? Do not know. Since when? Come on. All, you Abdul know everything. I've watched some of uh, some of your videos, and you say ISIS is Islam. Why you are changing the topic? No, ISIS are not Islam. ISIS are nice people compared to Muhammad. No. What do you mean no? Re read okay. the hadith. I, okay. I've no, okay. Name for me one thing Muhammad did. ISIS did not do. Killing Muslims. Let me ask you, did Muhammad put nears in the eyes of people? They, they uh, ISIS is killing Muslims. No, that, the Quran says uh, whoever kills the Muslims are non-Muslims. Ah, so the ah, so Muhammad he says you can kill only non-Muslims. Isn't that the topic? This, you you said, who said that? You said Mus uh, ISIS are killing Muslims. So the Muhammad he said you can kill only Muslims according to you. What? What? You see, when the Muslim he don't he don't he want to run away from the answer. He says, "What? I'm asking you, Muhammad, did he kill Muslims too, what? or he killed only non-Muslims?" Yeah, uh, most of them he killed uh, Muslims, but some of them he like uh, stoning to that. But that's a punishment Muhammad, in Muhammad, Sharia. Most of the people he killed are Muslims, Muhammad. Oh, non-Muslims. Uh, why he killed the non-Muslims? Maybe uh, stoning to death for uh, Sharia law for committing this is not a uh, okay, maybe why, adultery. Why Muhammad did not stone himself? He committed adultery too. Yeah, he's the prophet of God. He's a messenger. So if he's a prophet, he can commit adultery? No problem in Islam? If he's a, if he's a messenger. Oh, I understand. So if you are a messenger in Islam, you can commit adultery. It's okay. No. So why he did not stone himself? Because he's a messenger. I got that. But he committed adultery. Why he didn't stone himself? He, he needs to complete Allah's message. Ah, so after he complete, he will stone himself. Okay, I got it. Let me ask you: Your prophet, he kissed a stone. Is that because he is a messenger or because he is a, a Muslim? Can we get to my topic, please? Yes, yes, we are going there. I'm just trying to understand your logic. You keep saying to me because he's a messenger, because he's a messenger. So I'm trying to understand. So when your prophet he kissed a black stone, did he kiss it because he is a messenger or because he's a pagan? So. Uh... Because, because it's holy. The black stone is holy. And why it's holy? Because it uh, washes your sins. And how the stone wash your sin? Are you a pagan person? How how Muslim they say to us we are not pagans, yet a stone forgive your sin? No, it doesn't forgive. It, it forgives by the will of Allah. So the stone have the will of Allah? What? The stone has the will of Allah? My friend, your logic is so stupid. Okay, I, I am trying to learn from you, my smart friend. You just said because it has the will of Allah. How the stone has the will of Allah to forgive your sin? Oh, by the will of Allah. Uh, okay, the who is stone. the one? Who is the one who erased your sin? Allah or the stone? Allah. But the hadith says it's the stone. Yeah, by the will of Allah. Who, who, explain to us how the stone is the one who erased your sin, and then yet you say it's by the will of Allah. Explain, please. <laughs> well, you are laughing at your prophet now. <laughs> what happened? Please just read the hadith, please. Okay, we'll read the hadith. Here we go. This is the hadith in front of us. Let me find it, and it may take me a second to find it. All right. You want the hadith? Here we go. Okay, here yeah. we go. Muhammad, he says, whoever touched those two corners. No, no, no. Uh, the hadith I've sent you. Read this hadith first, and let's see how Allah, Prophet, He is saying stones they erase your sins. It doesn't say that Allah erases your sin. It says the stones. If you touch the stones, they erase your sin. 
Please read my hadith. I beg you, please. Uh, I, I, okay, I will read the hadith for you. No problem. But answer this. No, no, how, no. My, my hadith. Uh, yeah, no problem. How, how if we touch the stones, it's going to erase our sin? Allah says, uh, whoever touches it, hmm. like, uh, by my will, I will forgive your sins. Where it says that's that? The, Where it says it, that? Doesn't say. Oh, no, but that's the meaning. That's the meaning. No, no, no. It's not up to you to say this is the meaning. It says he said. I heard Allah Messenger saying, "Touching them erases sin." Yeah. Okay. Touching them erases sin. That's it. You touch them, your sin automatically is erased. Yeah, you have to kiss them. Oh, you cannot only touch them. You have to kiss them too. Yeah. Okay. So now, why if we? So, so you? No, no, no. Touch, touch. Ah, you touch. Okay, so which one is correct? So why your prophet kiss it then? If touching them is enough, why your prophet kiss it? Because it's holy. You are kissing a stone because the stone is holy? No, because it's from Jannah. But you just said to me a second ago because it's holy. You forgot? Yeah, because it's in Jannah. Okay, so if a stone is coming from Jannah, from heaven, that means it's holy. Of course. What if Allah, he sends you a donkey from Jannah? You kiss him too? <laughs> what if he send you? What if he send you a cake of shit from her, from Jannah? You kiss it? <laughs> Is it holy? I'm asking you. You know, we are having a conversation. How, wh how, and why Allah he send you a stone from Jannah? What is the point of that stone? I don't know. He knows best. Okay, and uh, the stone erases your sin. So why we need Allah? I made. Tons of videos against Muhammad and thousands and thousands of Muslims of Islam because of me. Now, all what I need to do, I go and touch the stones, and that's all Christian Prince he did is gone. What do you think? Yeah, Allah is merciful. Wow, that's nice. Okay. Yeah. So I can rape it's children, like, I can like, rape women, I can kill, I can steal, and I do drugs, I sell drugs, and then I what I do, I go and touch the stones. No, you repent. Where it says repent, it says here whoever touched them doesn't say if you repent. Yeah, if you're Muslim. What? No, it doesn't yeah, say it doesn't say even um, you have to be a Muslim. It says whoever touched yeah, them. Referring to Muslims, don't be like this stupid. It's referring to Muslims. Don't be a stupid. I thought to be a Muslim to is to be a stupid, it's a must. <laughs> yeah, I can prove it to you. How somebody Please. he claimed to be smart and yet he believed that a stone is holy. Please just read my hadith, please. I'm asking you how somebody claimed to be smart, yet he believed that a stone is holy. You are a smart person, not a stupid, right? Okay. How stone is holy? What holy mean? What holy mean? Yeah. You just said to me the stone is holy. What holy mean? How the stone is holy? I don't what know. Does it mean? I don't you know how to describe so it. You, so you are saying to me holy, but you do not know what holy mean? Yeah, I know. I know, I know what it means. Mm. What does it mean? Tell me. I'm, le I'm learning. I don't know how to describe it. Oh no, how come you are smart? A smart uh, Muslim. Have you ever seen a Muslim not smart? It's impossible. So how a smart Muslim can I describe it? What do you mean by the stone is holy? What does that mean? Uh, it's from Jeddah, right? That's yeah, it. We get that, we get that. Are you going to go zero to zero? You remind me, I went to a Muslim chat uh, uh, website and I asked them, it's called Convert to Islam. I asked them, why the Prophet is the stone? They said to me, it's holy. Because it's holy, and I said, "Why it's holy?" They said, "Because he kissed it." So don't be stupid no. again like them. No. Because it's from Jannah. Okay, because it's Jannah. But what holy mean? The stone is holy because it's from Jannah. What does that mean? What what is what is holy mean? The stone is holy. What does that mean? Uh, it's uh. Wait, let me just search it. Real the quick. stone does not do shit. The stone did not uh, steal. The stone does not lie. What does that mean? Yeah, here's the meaning of it. Dedicated or what? Consecrated. No, how how, really how the stone really how the stone is it. holy. Holy means that somebody never commits sin. It's totally holy. Yeah, I'm, okay. The stone, I'm reading of it. Since when stones ah. commit sin? Have you ever seen a stone commit sin? No. What do you mean no? I thought you are a Muslim. What do you mean? I thought Don't according commit. to Islam, stones they steal. No. Oh, what do you mean? I had it, which says the Musa was uh, stone was still uh, Musa's clothes. Yes, the Musa was uh, <laughs> Musa was washing, he uh, taking a shower, and Allah He sent a, a thief stone 
and she stole his panty and his wallet and his cell phone and then Musa's he have to chase the stone and uh, because Allah wanted to prove that Musa's he have nice testicles am I lying the hate in the front of us read it yeah okay so how you say the stone is holy stones are thieves no my friend this is different stone Ah, oh, different stone this is a different family they are not the same stones why are you so stupid? <laughs> but, but this is stone sent by Allah. It's it's it is doing the work of Allah. Allah, have you ever heard of a stone can run? Only in Islam those things happen. How how the stone she stole the clothes? Can you explain to us? Can you okay? If you read my hadith, then maybe I will leave Islam. No, no, my friend. How a stone can steal a cloth? Can you explain to us? You are the smart, we are not. You know, we are not we are disbelievers. Muslims are the smart people. How the stone she was able to run explain to us how this happened Moses as he took off his clothes as you see that the Jews they said that the Israeli they said that he was afraid to expose his private part because he had suffering from a, a, a disease and he one day took a bath in a water and placed his garment upon the stone the stone began to move on quickly he followed it and he struck it and with the help of a stone saying stone my garment oh stone my garment the stone keep doing that until the stone stopped near a big gathering of the Jews Netanyahu was there I mean all of them and there the, and the, this verse revealed uh, about this issue okay now, is that a miracle or this is a phony t tale story? Is that a true story? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I believe. You believe in the story? Okay, oh, who told the stone to steal the clothes of Moses? Who told the stone? Who told the stone to do that? Did the stone do that because... Uh, she is working no. with the like, KGB or who is the one who made the stone run and steal the clothes of Moses? The stone itself. The stone itself, she did that by herself? Yeah. So you must then believe that stones are living creatures and they can run and they can steal and they will take your phone and your clothes? No, not now, not now. Oh, not now. Only in the old days they used to do that. Today they change. Ah. What I'm just uh, trying to learn from you. What? Wh how? Who is the one who made this stone do that? Who is? Who is the one who is behind this story? He made the stone steal the clothes and the panties and the underwear of Moses and his cell phone and his wallet, and she ran with it. And all of this because Allah wanted the the, the Jews to see his uh, private part, so no. they will see no. that his uh, his balls are good and his penis is big. Look, look, it says here. No. Okay. My clothes, my clothes, he keep running after it. And then when Israel, the children of Israel, had a chance to see his a private part of, of, of Moses. Like so the Jews, when they saw the, the penis of Moses, they said, like, wow, look at this. So Allah he made the stone steal his clothes so everybody can see his penis. No. What do you mean no? Who is the one who made the stone run? It's uh, Allah. Allah, thank you very much. So Allah is the real thief, is not the stone. No. What, what do you mean the stone is doing Allah work? Is Allah is a stone? No. Is Allah but, is, but, but, okay? Did there's I, did one, I, did there's I, one stupid okay, logic of me, you. I don't okay, understand. Well, I don't know. You are saying stupid logic. Maybe I am not smart like you. Was Allah inside the stone when the stone is stole the clothes? No. Okay, how the stone then can run? It's by the will of Allah. Not will, but by His like power. By the power of Allah. So the power of Allah is inside the stone now. Oh my God. <laughs> Your logic. <laughs> what? I'm just uh, going with you. Guys, isn't him who said that by the power of Allah? So now, when we say, okay, well, if I say by the gas of Allah, that means the gas of Allah is inside the stone. When you say the power by the power of Allah, so the power of Allah is inside the stone. Okay, okay. you win. So okay, you win. The power of Allah, Allah, okay, the power of Allah is it holy? 
No. The power of Allah is not holy? Allah has no. a Allah has a dirty power? Yes. Can you now read my hadith? Allah has a dirty power. Yes, can you now read my hadith? Well, so why you worship a dirty power God? Can you can you now read my hadith please? Yeah, but uh, why why you worship a dirty power God? Why are you taking so long just read my hadith? What hadith? This is a hadith, you know, this is a this oh, is more important. The, the, the okay, is, is your you. hadith about a stone running? Okay, just read it. No, is your hadith have anything to do with the scene in their wares? Yes. Really? Okay, read the hate for me. Go ahead. <laughs> no, <laughs> you read it, please. No, I do not. You know, for me, I cannot read more hadith about uh, underwear. That's it. I, I passed my limit for today. Okay, I'll read it. Okay, read it. Huh? It is Sahih. Hmm. Uh, if you see the black flags, then remain on the, on the ground and do not move a hand or a leg. A group of weaklings will then appear. Their hearts will be like iron. They are the owners of the state. They fulfill neither a contract nor a nor a co uh, covenant. They call to the truth, but they are not its people. Mm. Their names are Acuna, and their lineage are town. Their hair is unwinding like the hair of a woman. Mm. Isn't this ISIS? Those are ISIS. Yes. Mm. But isn't it isn't it your prophet? He his name is Akunya. No. What do you mean? Isn't it Omar ibn Khattab is Akunya? Isn't it Abu oh. Bakr Akunya? Abu Bakr. What is Abu Bakr? Yes, but uh, now it's uh, in this time. What? Because it says they will be. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Okay. What? Isn't it isn't it your prophet? He said that those people they will come from Khorasan. What is that? I don't know. Khorasan is in is going to be supposed to be in the old Persian Empire. So why your prophet is a false prophet? If the ISIS are from Khorasan, that will make them uh, will, will make them uh, as Muhammad he said. But Muhammad he made it clear that they are coming from Khorasan. Those are not from Khorasan. Al Baghdadi yes. Al Baghdadi is supposed to be from Mecca. No. He's from Iraq. He's a, his last name is Al Qurushi, Qurushi, which means he's from Mecca. No, my okay. friend. The, okay, let's go the, Iraq. Let's go Iraq. Is Iraq is Khorasan? What is Khorasan? Khorasan is you can search for it right now in Google. What does Muhammad say in a hadith? He said that they will come from Khorasan. And not only that, your prophet he says that their leader is a black man. Is Al Baghdadi no. is a black man? Okay, show me. Are you sure? Yeah, show me where it says that. Okay. You will not change your mind? No. We cannot no negotiate about that. <laughs> Why well, you are laughing? You are laughing at your prophet? I notice always when you call me, you laugh when you hear things about your prophet. I know you don't show respect. I'm really, I'm really, uh, uh, so this is a point of you as a Muslim. Here we go. Your prophet, he said, Al Khawarij, their leader is a black man. Here we go. Do you see the word Al Khawarij? Mm, let me see the screen. Mm, see the screen. Mm. Should, should I send you the hadith in the top of a, of a, of a rock, the rock of Pusas? Can you uh, show the hadith from a little above so I can read the whole hadith? No problem. Here we go. This is not talking about the same people. He's talking about Al Khawarij, supposedly, as you see. This is the same statement you read for me. And their leader is a black man. Is Al Baghdadi is a black man? No, the, the, the uh, Khawarij is not what is in Hadith. Yes, Al Khawarij is in the Hadith. No, this is what you quote for me. Yes, your prophet talking about people. Do you know what Khawarij, which means people they out they are out of religion. They are out of what the teaching of Allah supposedly. So how ISIS are those people? And where ISIS they broke the command of Allah. They killed the same as Muhammad. They raped the same as Muhammad. 
they still the same as Muhammad uh, and they were even nicer uh, than Muhammad. Okay, okay. Was Muhammad a rapist? No, no, let me, yes, he was a rapist. Okay, well, just, just, just wait a second, please. Hmm. I want to quote, uh, uh, quote something from your, from your Bible, what, uh, what uh, Moses did. Hmm. Let's see if, he, if um, Moses is, uh, is why, not a rapist. Why are you are changing the topic? So was Muhammad a rapist, yes or no? Because you're a hypocrite. Well, uh, let's see who's a hypocrite. I'm asking you, was your prophet a rapist, yes or no? Was your prophet Moses a rapist? If he was a rapist, then we call him a rapist, no problem, if he was. Okay. I'm asking you, was okay. your prophet a rapist, yes or no? If Moses is a rapist, I'm Muhammad is. If he's not a rapist, you Muhammad have, is no, not. You have to prove it. And if he's a rapist, I will call him a rapist. No problem. First, I will show you what uh, Moses commanded. I'm Look. asking you, was your prophet a rapist? No. So who is Sophia who he raped her in the same day? Who is Julia? Okay, okay. Who okay. Is Julia okay. Muhammad is a rapist. Let's see. Numbers 31, uh, verse 7 to 18. Okay. They read, read, median. What? Okay, read for me what it says. They attacked Midian just as the Lord has command, had commanded Moses, and they killed all the men, all five of the Midian three kings, hmm. Eve, Rikim, Zora, Ho, and Reba, hmm. right in a battle. They also killed Balaam, <coughs> son of Baal, with the sword. Then the Israeli army captured the Midianite women and children. Hmm. Wow! Captured! Uh -huh. Isn't this what you uh, Christians no, call? Where it says where it says they raped them. You said they raped them. I'm gonna show you. And seize their cattle and flux them all. The wealth of plunder. They burned all the towns and the villages where the uh, militants had lived. After they had uh, gathered the plunder and captives, both people and animals, they brought them all to Moses and Eleazar the you, priest and to the whole of the city of Israel. Says? Which has what, uh, why which you, was why you don't go? on the why, why you don't go and tell me the verse it says they raped the women? Okay, mm -hmm. let me just uh, mm -hmm. go a little bit. Okay, Moses, as I the priest, had all the leaders of the people went to them mm -hmm. outside the camp, but Moses was furious with all the military commanders. Are you going to read the whole chapter where the verse yes. says yeah. they raped them? Okay. I'm going to show you right now. Okay, who had returned from the battle? <laughs> what Moses said. Why have you let all these women live? He demanded. These are very ones who followed Balaam's advice mm. and caused the people of Israel uh, to, to rebel against the Lord. Mm. They are the ones who cursed the plague to mm. strike the Lord's people. Now kill all the boys and the women who have slept with their men. Mm. Only the young girls who are virgins may live. You may keep them for yourselves. Mm. Right. To do what with them? Hypocrite. No. You're, you're, you're no, hypocrite. No, you see, they are the hypocrite. The Bible says like, that no, even though like, oh, even what? those or oh, even gonna, those prisoners, gonna, oh. even those prisoners, they don't sleep with them. They marry them, and we can show you tons of verses from the same book you are reading from. You are the hypocrite. You are the dummy. And yeah. nowhere it says, yeah. and nowhere it says they, they did yeah, rape them. It. Did you show me the way it says re rape, they did rape them? Okay, okay. The, uh, this is from. Did you honor me? Did you see? Did you when, see what it says? They even step with them. It says the the young uh, girls did, who are did, virgins. Does it say? Safe, you does it say anywhere? No, it's adult. Does it say anywhere that they slept with them? It says. Uh, that did, you make says them I am asking themselves. you. Does it say anywhere that they even slept with them? You could not okay, find so rape. You, you could not find rape. You could not find rape, right? So now okay. I'm asking you. Let us so see. Word, Maybe we can okay. find something so else. Word. Maybe nah. we can find something else. Does it say anywhere that they even slept with them? My friend, your logic is stupid. So, it, stop it really says it. you are the one trying to prove to me that they, they raped them. So you have to show me where it says that. So you fail again. They keep them okay. as slaves. They keep them as slaves because they they themselves, the Jews, they've been slaves too, eye for an eye. So they keep them as a slave, but there's nowhere it says <laughs> that they did rape them. And the and the Old Testament says that if you have a slave, in order to know her, you have to marry her. Okay. Otherwise, Let me uh, read no, this. Uh, no, no, don't. Just, no, let us go back. So you see, I gave you a chance to read the whole chapter for me, and you fail. Now I'm asking you. Why you admitted that your prophet was a rapist, and you are the one who says to me that if oh, somebody committed, you admitted that your okay, let, prophet let me, Moses let me, let me was a rapist. Let me ask you: Is is Islam from the same God of of Moses? From the God, the God of the Quran and the God of the Old Testament are very similar. Okay. In the, the in, God the, in the, the okay, in the Bible God. it says, hold on. In the Bible it says, if somebody rape a woman, he would be killed. Okay, 
I mean, the God of the New I'm Testament you, and the so, God so, of so, the so, Old so, Testament so, are not the same God. So, so, Let me clear this to you. They are not the same. In the Bible, it says, if a man he raped a woman, he should be killed. Can you find me a verse in the Quran that says, if a man raped a woman, he will be killed? In the sh Sharia law. What Sharia law? So you, you Muslim, you don't have it in the Quran? It's in the Sharia law. What Sharia law? Many else. I thought your Sharia is coming from the Quran. So where is your Sharia coming from? What does that mean? From what do you mean? Where is the punishment? Where are you saying to me, Allah? He forgot to say to you, Allah. He have time to tell us that there was an ant. She was warning the ants about Suleiman, but he forgot to make a verse about what we will do if a man he rape a woman. Are you saying that to me? You're stupid. You can call me whatever you want. You have to show me what kind of a stupid God. He talk about those silly stuff, but he have no time to tell us what we will do in the case of rape. Yeah, in, in, uh, Muhammad said, uh, kill the person who rapes. Where? In the Sharia law. In the Sharia law. So, is, okay, are you saying to me that Muhammad, he, have, he is copying the Jews because the Jews, they have the, the Quran doesn't have that. No, it doesn't matter. It's in the Sharia law. What do you mean? It doesn't matter because Muhammad he have to follow Allah. Is Muhammad making yeah. his own? Okay, are you saying to me Muhammad he made his own law, different from the law of Allah? The law of Allah is the Quran. The law of Muhammad is inspired by Allah. Okay, inspired by Allah, it have to be Quran. Did Allah speak to Muhammad? Yes, in the night journey. Where it says that? Show me. In a hadith. It doesn't say that. <laughs> okay <laughs> okay what else do you think he did secondly in the night no, no. journey in the night journey there's nowhere in the Quran it says that Allah he took Muhammad to the heaven is that right okay okay yes so why you are fabricating a lie you Muslims you lie you say Muhammad went to the seven heaven but even the Quran never says that because in the, if you were in the time of Muhammad then you would understand why the, the verse was not revealed. Muhammad told all the people. No, the Quran, so the verse was not revealed. So Allah, he forgot. Allah, he have time to tell us about the ant, speaking to the ant. But oh. he have no time to tell us about Muhammad going to heaven. What's some point of uh, Allah re 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 revealing a verse when Muhammad really told all the people he went to, to the saw him. There's nobody saw him. There's no witnesses, not even his wife. Nobody saw him. Yes, but he split and Muhammad, uh, there was many uh, witnesses. What witnesses? The pagans were where, what witnesses where they saw him they saw him went to heaven no i'm talking about the moon spit you you want to change the topic now it's a, i'm not uh, topic. I'm saying to you, okay, I'm where, where are we kind of verse okay let me ask you in islam if a man he have sex uh, with the women he you have to bring four witnesses and they have to see his penis going inside her vagina is that true what you see when a Muslim he wanna play dumb what you you heard me according to your Quran <laughs> we have to bring four witnesses to prove yeah. adultery how you can bring four witnesses you come to your house you find the guy sleeping with your wife now you have to call, you have to call four friends hey Ahmad hey Muhammad call them call them come over take your car and come here because we have to see the penis of this guy going inside the vagina of this woman so we can prove adultery. How you can prove that? Why oh, you are laughing? <laughs> you are laughing at your religion, right? Please don't ever say Muhammad was a killer, rapist, because I, that's I, I literally you what are, Moses You are the one. Hold on, we got you busted. I'm asking you. Know, I'm asking says, you. I'm asking you. What, what, you what, like kind, Moses, what, what will be of, sent. What kind of religion says stupid thing like this? How in the world somebody can prove that his wife committed adultery by getting four witnesses? How we can get four witnesses? And Muhammad he said they have to see his penis going in as the pen go inside the ink, the inkwell. How we can prove that? So if the man she is sitting in the top of the guy wearing her skirt, there's no witnesses, there is no adultery. Because nobody saw anything. Okay, but I don't understand why you bring I'm this up. I'm asking you because this is silly. Your, your book is a stupid silly. The Bible have details okay. about a rape, 
about uh, adultery, about everything. There's details here. There's nothing. Yeah, what, like, what is like you say to me? You, you say to me Sharia yeah. law, but there's no Sharia like, law. There's a garbage law. What is a Sharia law? How in the like, high, how in the world? Okay, somebody, somebody here rape a woman. How a woman? She will bring four witnesses to prove that she was raped. Hello. Yeah, yeah. So according to Islam, every woman who is raped, she have to call for her friends, so they can watch the guy raping her, so she can prove that she was raped. Okay. What do you mean? Okay, this is the most stupid religion ever I heard. A rapist, yeah, you're, a, ra is more stupid. A, a rapist, he will not invite people to see that he is ra raping a woman. <laughs> I mean, this is yeah. stupid. So, guys, look at this garbage. A rapist, he have to bring four witnesses to see him raping a woman, otherwise the woman, she cannot take him to court. Because if she can doesn't have four witnesses, the judge will beat her, not beat him. They will lash her 80 times if she is not going to be stoned. Abdul, take care and say hi to mommy. Okay? Bye-bye. Can I, can I talk for Ibn 10 Abdul, seconds? Yeah, 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 come on. Abdul, you don't know what you're talking about. You're talking about. You're an idiot. Just go. Four witnesses we have to bring for a rapist. Have you ever heard of such a stupid religion like this? And now if the woman, she go to the police and she report the guy who raped her, she the, the the judge will say okay do you have four witnesses she say no then the judge will say oh the quran says if those who do that then we have to lash them 80 lashes because you accuse somebody and without proof <laughs>